Hi, I'm Sarah Blau, author of Close to You, Daily Spiritual Motivations Inspired by the Tanya, and published by the Meaningful Life Center. I invite you to take a break from your busy day. Sit comfortably, allow yourself to relax and breathe. If you'd like, imagine yourself in a place that is calming to you. Give yourself the gift of meditating on the following chapter of Tanya. Chapter 27, Shameless Struggle. Don't let the struggle demoralize you. Do you find that there were certain things that challenged you many years ago and feel despondent that five, 10, or 20 years later, you are still up against the same internal struggles? Does it bother you that while you consider yourself a moral and spiritual person, you still find yourself at home or work, tempted by desires to speak or act in a manner that you are ashamed of, you are not alone. The nature of the human condition is to struggle. Instead of feeling downhearted that yet again you are tempted by your senses, you can feel joy. For only when you battle temptation can you fulfill an actual mitzvah in the Torah. You shall not follow after your heart and after your eyes by which you go astray. These words weren't commanded to saints, but to the Benini. The term coined to describe your average human for reasons known only to God. He experiences tremendous pleasure every time you squelch a negative desire. There is no shame in struggle. If anything, shame is rooted in a person's ego where he expects himself to be exempt from the struggle experienced by the rest of humanity. And while this may come as a surprise to some, our very purpose in this world is to wrestle with our compulsions and impulses, trying time and again to subdue and tame our inner demons. Here's the incredible part. Every time you don't give in to a negative desire, you weaken its power over you. And that automatically weakens the power of negative energy in the world so that each time you emerge victorious, you lessen the darkness in this world and make the struggle a bit easier for you and everyone else. This is not something a tzaddik, a righteous person can do, for he does not battle with klipa. Only a banani, by rejecting the negative thought or desire, by rejecting the klipa, can weaken it for himself and for the world around him. Ever had sweet and sour chicken nuggets? Both sweet and sour are tasty, but they are very different flavors. The tzaddik service is like a sweet flavor to God. And the Banani service is like a sour flavor. They are both tasty to God, and He desires that each serve Him with their respective abilities. So, by not acting on a negative impulse, each and every time, you flavor the world in a way that only a Banani can. Tanya Bit, Thought for Meditation Internal conflict is not a letdown, but a reason to rejoice.